There's only one way in, one way out. If you can't get in, that means the wrong one. <laughs> eh. Okay, today I'll be uh, working on the 2007 Chrysler Pacifica. How to change spark plug. Yeah. So, let's get right to it. Okay. First thing first, we gotta take off this uh, power. So it just pops up like that. So go ahead and uh, remove the battery terminal, negative, just like that. Put it on the side, make sure they don't touch each other, like that. Okay, what we're going to do is remove this clip right here. Take all the harnesses out. Sometimes it gets a little hard, just, just gotta force it out a little bit. Okay. Press that down, and it should come right out. If it doesn't come out, you gotta basically use a flat screwdriver and push this thing up a little bit to help. Okay. Now, this part. There's a red clip right here. Pull back, press it upward to unlock it, then press this down. Just like that. Okay. Now we go ahead and uh, remove your um, air filter. Not air. What do you want to call it? Air in intake. That goes to your throttle body. Let's remove that. Just like that. Be careful with this. Put that on the side. Yep. And this tube right here on top. Like that. Okay. Now this tube like that okay now this we gotta remove this cover right here so there's bolt one two three four five and, and six and we also gotta remove this part right here. It's two bolt. It should be size eight. Just like that. And the other side. Ten millimeter. Yep. 
All right, so down here there's two bolts. One, two, that, you know, holding on to the power steering line. And the wire here. It's a different size, size 13 millimeter. this is clip over here from this bracket yeah this wire right here is basically it's stuck on it so you just gotta pull it out then put it on top of your uh, oil stick then this one you have to remove the extension because everything is in the way just like that This one, we gotta use a deep socket size 13. Not too back here. Like that. Put that on the side there. Now go ahead. Lift it up. Might be some bolts in the way. So lift it up. And uh, come right here, careful with this. Let's see, you just move it. And just, oh yeah, I'm sorry. I forgot one more thing down here. All right, sorry about that. Make sure you get all the harness and stuff out. Okay, now, I think we got it. And there you go. Move that. Okay. So, this is spoke plug right here. One, two, three, four, five, six. Um, coil. Go ahead. Uh, you can disconnect this coil. Then and clip. <laughs> Okay. 
And we've got three more over here, but what gotta do is pick this up, uh, pick it up. Coil is still okay. Spot plug should be inside there. And I'll go ahead and take it out. Show you. Down the side. Alright, so you're gonna need a long extension and a spot plug remover, size 5.8, which is 16 millimeter. Well, unfortunately, spark plug doesn't want to come up because I have this 5.8 right here. Normally, they should have a rubber like thing inside, you know, so it's easier to take out a spark plug. But um, this is all I got. So what I'm gonna do? I'm trying to go find a me a, a what was that long nose plier or something? I can't find a long nose plier to get it out, but um. Luckily, I got this little bag magnetic, so I put it on a flat head, and it's pretty strong. See, got it out. There you go. Started, uh, started. <laughs> I'm sorry. Spark plug. <laughs> Jeez. Uh, yeah, yeah. This thing doesn't have that rubber gasket inside to hold on to the spark plug, so put it in nice up, oh, drop right in. And you wanna do put it in by hand first. Tighten it with your hand. Don't have to be too tight, just hand tight. That's quite good. Yep. Right in there. Daddy. <laughs> yeah, yeah. spark plug in go ahead and uh, put it in your coil pack connect it basically the same way you're taking it out yeah Just like that back the bolt Yep. 
plug it right back in. Check this is a little dirty or anything like that. Clean it. If not, just plug it back in. Just like that. And same thing with this one. Pretty much do the same thing with all of it. So. Finish all that, put the connector and everything for the bolt plug and uh, go ahead and try to put this back in to cover. So basically, you can know, see. Like that this one was it this this one that on a harness it's only one way in, one way out. If you can't get in, that means the wrong one. <laughs> Alright, now we go ahead and put all this bolt back in. This back in. Flathead. And um, for that, we connect this. Okay, so pretty much got everything in there, the cover and uh, the batteries, terminal and uh, let's go and start it Bye.
Sounds good. All right, well, thank you for watching. And if you do find this find this video to be helpful, please don't forget to give me a thumbs up, subscribe, and share. Thanks for watching.